Miss Jackson. Hello. My name is Mary, and I'm going to be um, uh, sitting down and talking with you a little bit today. Is that okay? Yes, it is. Good. I enjoy. Good. Um, so, what brings you in today? What is your complaint? Well, my feeding tube is trying to kind of pull out. It seems like it goes further out, and I'll push it back in, but it keeps slipping back out, and it's causing me issues. How long have you had your feeding tube? I think it was, it's been about two years. Okay. Um, what, uh, what kind of, um, issues have you had to bring you up to the feeding tube? Well, <clears throat> first I had, um, uh, cancer in my right lower line. I had it removed. And then, I guess it was because of the pain that it just kind of messed my appetite up. But even prior to that, I noticed that when I would eat just a little something, it would make the top of my stomach feel too full and uncomfortable. Okay. And I went to the doctor several times and they put me on different antacids, and so after different tests, they come to the conclusion that it was something called echolation. Okay. Now, have you? Do you have any safety concerns, like any concerns with harming yourself, or have you ever harmed yourself? I've never harmed myself, nor would I ever harm myself. But sometimes, in my situation where I, I can't get out and enjoy life like I used to. What well, with, you know, losing so much weight and being anemic, being undernourished, and with just long and a half, I can't do the things I used to do, and it's just, it just feels like I'm existing and not living. But, like I said, I would never intentionally hurt myself. It's just sometimes I would prefer to go to sleep and not like it. So, have you ever had thoughts of harming someone else? No. I generally like people Good. until they hurt my kids. <laughs> now, um, as far as your support system, like, to help you through those thoughts, do you have a good support system like your family or friends? Yes, I do. My daughter's my very best friend. I talk to her a lot. There's nothing I can't tell her. And she just smiles at me and says in her funny voice, Mom, you can do it. You, you can do it. You're strong. Well, I hope she knows how much you, uh, how, how you feel about her. I, I think she does. She's very mm -hmm. precious to me. Um, what do you like to do in your free time? Oh, I love, love to play games on the phone. But I also love watching documentaries.